So these are how the pins look like on the backing cards. This one is the spam one. So I just did a little kitchen scene. For the soju, I wanted to do like a sushi restaurant with like one of those conveyor belts. I thought this was pretty cool. I really like how the illustration for this one turned out. I know it's like a bit detailed for just this backing card that people will probably throw away, but I don't know. I really like having the personalized illustration for each pin. It just makes it feel more like a piece of art for me. And yeah, I just feel like it completes it. What do you guys think? And here is the backing card for the berry milk tea. So I did like this little like lunch bag scene, you know, couldn't forget the chips in the back. The cheddar ruffles, my favorite. Um, but yeah, I think this was really cute too. And uh, for the concha, I'm just reusing the same backing card as the one I used for the white concha. So I just saved myself some time, you know, why work extra hard. But yeah, here's the complete set. What do you guys think? I know it took me <laughs> way too long to pump out a new pin collection, but I finally did it. Hopefully it was worth the wait. Hey guys, so I'm finally off from work. It's currently 7 p.m. I'm normally off at 5.30, but there was quite a bit of work to get done and I didn't want to log off without finishing it because then, I don't know, I just didn't want people to come after me on my day off. So I got it done, but unfortunately it's already pretty dark and clearly you can tell that photographing is my least favorite thing to do when it comes to shop updates. For some reason, I just find it so tedious. I don't know why. But I should really get that done. That way I could start doing all my Etsy listings because I'm going to hate myself if I have to do that last minute. So yeah, so tomorrow is the day. I'm going to try to do most of the work. I'll try to record everything um, and bring you guys along. I don't think I'm going to do anything for the rest of the day since it's already getting dark. And I really don't like filming when it's uh, once the sun has set because I already have bad lighting in here. Um... And it just gets worse once it's dark. So I'm going to just call it a day and go grab some food. So yeah, I'm going to go eat because I'm hungry. But yeah, I'll catch you guys tomorrow.
So I'm going to quickly head out to the post office and drop off these orders using my cute fish tote bag that I got from Katie. Super cute. My favorite. Um, but yeah, I will catch you guys in a bit. Here are the 12 by 16 inch prints that I ended up making. I know they don't look that big, but here, let me show you. Here is a 8 by 10 inch print, and in comparison, it's a pretty big boy. I've never made anything this large before. The biggest prints I've ever made have been 8 by 10, and I felt like these paintings deserved a bigger print and I really like how they turned out. So photographing wise, I think I'm just going to hang up on my wall and take photos of it and that will be the product photos for these. But yeah, hopefully you guys like them. Okay, I'm gonna definitely have to edit these photos because it's way too dark in here and it doesn't really capture the colors of the print. But I think it's a good setup, so I'm gonna just use this to take the product photos for the larger prints.
So my new thank you cards finally arrived. Initially, I was only planning on making this one into a thank you card. It's an illustration that I did a couple of months back of my desk setup based off of my baguette wrist rest and my waffle mouse pad. I have a really boring keyboard, but let's pretend I have a cool one like this one. But yeah, so this was my original plan using this illustration for a thank you card because I finally ran out of my old ones and it was pretty outdated. But as I was placing my order on mood.com, I noticed that you can upload up to 20 different designs. And since I was going to be placing an order of 100, I was like, maybe this time I should have different designs on there. That way, if I get repeat customers, I can give them a different design each time. And since I wasn't planning on doing anything with these two illustrations, like print-wise, because, I don't know, I didn't feel like they were print-worthy. I thought maybe I should just recycle them and use them as a thank you card design. So here is the Chobani oat milk illustration that I turned into stickers. And this is another illustration I did a couple of months back of what I ate in a day, I think it was. And yeah, I think they make really good thank you cards. Definitely goes with the style I have now. Here's the old design that I had my first thank you card ever and since then like I think it's been a year since I got these made my style has definitely evolved especially my color choices but yeah I really like how they turned out the colors are really nice really vibrant and on the back I included Roxy since she's part of my brand now I gotta you know include her in my packaging the only thing I have left to do now is I really need to update my business cards because those are kind of outdated. So yeah, I got to do that next.
Hey guys, so I just left the coffee shop. I got through editing all of the photos I took today. The only thing is I didn't photograph the pins because I got pretty tired. So I'm just going to do that another day. But yeah, I got myself some coffee. My friend actually treated me. She sent me some money so I could get coffee or boba, which is what I ended up doing. So thank you so much, Larissa. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to head home now and relax or... I might actually start editing this vlog so I could hopefully upload it soon. I'm trying my best to um, get better at editing and uploading more frequently. It usually takes me forever to edit a video so maybe if I start doing it like bit by bit it might speed up my process. Um, we'll see but yeah I'm gonna head out now and start driving and stop talking to the camera because I'm getting kind of nervous. Um, it was really hard trying to vlog today in public. Yeah, I get really nervous, um, but yeah, I will catch you guys soon.